In this interesting question, given is a semicircle with right angle triangle in it. Given is the hypotenuse of the triangle is parallel to the diameter of semicircle. With this limited information, we have to find the area of right angle triangle. Let's check the solution. We'll start by using the fact that CD is given parallel to AB and the distance between the parallel line is same. So the vertical distance of C from AB and D from AB will be equal. So if this CG is H centimeter, DF will also be H centimeter. Let's assume this angle E as alpha degrees. So this is alpha, this is 90 and this angle here will be 90 minus alpha. And thus this angle C will be nothing but alpha degrees. So by angle angle similarity that is alpha and 90, alpha and 90, we can say that triangle CGE is similar to triangle EFD. As the triangles are similar, thus the ratio of sides will be equal. So we can say here CG upon GE will be equal to EF upon FD. Now here by symmetricity, we can say that O is midpoint of GF. So if we'll assume the length GO as X centimeter, then the length OF will also be X centimeter. Also, if we'll see the diameter AB is nothing but 5 plus 3 that is 8 centimeter and thus the radius that is AO is 4 centimeter and thus length OE, OE will be 5 minus 4 that is 1 centimeter. <clears throat> so here if you'll see your CG is H and GE, GE length will be X plus 1. Same way EF, EF will be nothing but X minus OE that is 1 X minus 1 and DF is H centimeter. Simplifying it, we'll get H square is X minus 1 times X plus 1 that is X square minus 1. Rearranging them, we'll get X square minus H square is 1. Now here, let's join OD. Now in this triangle OFD, this OD is the radius which is 4 cm. And this right angle triangle, if we'll apply Pythagoras theorem, so we'll get H square plus X square is 4 square or 16. Now these two equation, let's solve this. So your h square will get cancelled on both the side. So what we'll get is 2 times of x square is 17. Or simplifying it, we'll get x as square root of 17 by 2 cm. Putting this value of x in the first equation, we'll get value of h as square root of 15 by 2 cm. Now here if we'll see, this cg is perpendicular and thus between these two parallel lines, this angle C and angle G are co-interior angles and this will be 90 degrees. So basically your G F D C, it's a rectangle which is getting formed and on this rectangle we have got a triangle with same base and same height. So area of this triangle will be half the area of rectangle. <coughs> Here length is G F and breadth is D F. And this GF is nothing but 2 times of X and DF is H. So here your 2 will get cancelled both the sides. So area of triangle is nothing but X times H. Simplifying it will get area of triangle as square root of 251 by 2 cm square. And that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.